Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and I'm here with a new moon reading and the new moon is on the 23rd of November and it's in Sagittarius it's influenced by Jupiter but Jupiter is retrograde so Jupiter, you know, it brings goodwill it brings personal, material and spiritual growth but when it's retrograde, there could be problems with overindulgences, gambling, addictions like negative aspects. Mercury and Venus are in good aspect and it encourages people to come together to resolve any problems. It's also a good time for international relations and for world trades and a good time for starting new projects from now until the 7th of December, which is the full moon. So overall quite good energies. I just want to thank you all for watching. Um, I really appreciate your support. If you want to have a chance to win a free reading, if you subscribe, like and comment the word hope, you can get a free reading in December. I'll probably give three readings away. Um, check out my new Etsy shop where you can purchase readings. There's ten different types there at the moment. Um, check out my other channel, Star Trail Tarot. Check out my Patreon and my deck shop. All the links are down below. So you can support me that way. To join my Patreon is just $5 a month. If you join before the 1st of December, I will give you a free reading as well as a thank you. So many ways you can support my channel. So I really appreciate that. <clears throat> And it is free, so don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. It's free and it really helps the channels to be seen, okay? So thank you for that. So we're going to look at your collective messages for this new moon energy. So we've got Harmony here, the sun in Libra. Enjoy life with music, love and romance. So... It looks like, and we've got the swans there, a very romantic time could be ahead for some of you. Very harmonious. We've got the sun there. So happy times ahead, I feel, for some of you there. Happy times. Got another Libra energy. Rebalance. So Libra is the sign of balance, isn't it? So it's time to balance out your energies. Reevaluate relationships, justice and fair blood fair play so you know come into balance in your own energies and we've got moon in pisces so we've got the sun and the moon here and we've got wonder follow your dreams so you know this to me is the sun and the moon is the masculine and feminine and like the card in the middle is about balance so balancing out your masculine and feminine aspects and look for the wonder in life you know look for the good and joy, yeah, we've got the sun again. So a lot of happiness and joy, time of celebration and success. So some really good news ahead for some of you. And we've got awakening here. Your deeper resolve rises. So we're coming into the age of Aquarius. So a lot of you could be going through an awakening process right now. You know, waking up to the truth of who you are, the truth of the world. And we've got love. Wow, we've got Libra again. So Libra is ruled by Venus. And, you know, Venus is prominent in the sky. And it says, bring peace to your life and your relationships will flourish. flourish. So, yes, love and moon energy. So those deep, hidden emotions, those deep feelings, you know, the love that we have for ourselves, the love that we have for each other. So be in the energy of love. And practicality, sun in Taurus. So we've got a balance of the sun and the moon. Boost self-worth and finances. And Taurus is ruled by Venus as well, which as well as ruling, Venus rules love and finances. So yeah, I feel you're going to be balancing out your emotional life and your practical life, you know, your financial stability. And we've got eclipsing cancer, acceptance, an emotional phase or dom domestic development. So, yeah, coming into the energy of acceptance, accepting the way things are in your life, accepting, you know, the way you are, you know, your your thoughts, you know, your good, your bad, and accepting those in others. And we've got collaboration, eclipse energy again, 
boost relationships through teamwork and compromise. So Aries is that energy ruled by Mars, which is like the masculine aspect um, to the Venus feminine aspect. And I feel you're going to be collaborating with someone in a romantic and a relationship point of view. Here with all these um, love energies and balanced energies and moon and sun energies. And we've got higher purpose. Align yourself with love and wisdom. And sun again. So yeah, coming into wisdom. Okay, following your higher purpose. What are you, you know, what do you feel the call to do in your life? And we've got Aries again, courage, moon in Aries. Believe in yourself. So Aries is the number one sign of the zodiac, you know, the first sign. And it is about self, you know, and having that courage, having that self-belief to move forward in your life, you know, to take those chances, to believe in yourself, to have that confidence, that courage, that acceptance, that love, okay, and learning to collaborate with others and balancing out your energies. So very positive message, very positive. Let's clarify with the tarot, and I'm using my deck, I haven't used this for a while, Magical Moon Tarot, one of the first tarots I made. So we've got harmony, so what is that talking about there? Wow, look at that. So this is my Magic Moon Tarot. So this is in my shop. Six of Coins. Again, that's talking about balance. You know, the balance of give and take. So only accept that in your life. You know, that balanced energy. Don't overgive. You know, being that energy of being able to receive as well as give. Okay. And if we, you know, overgive, we come out of balance. And it's talking about rebalancing now. And we've got the Strength card. So I feel that you've gained in strength you know, with with your wisdom, with your spirituality, with your emotional side, okay, you, you and your mental side, you're really coming into your own here. And we've got wonder. So look for the wonder. Oh my God, look at that, two of cups. So look for the wonder of love. I mean, it looks like there's love coming in here and it's mutual love with that two of cups and it's followed by joy. There's joy, happiness. And we've got Queen of Coins. So some of you could be Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just in that energy, very grounded, um, very stable, very nurturing, very loving. Um, somebody could see you as a catch. Somebody could see you as someone that brings them joy. So why is joy there? Let's get another message on that. Wow, we've got Hierophant energy. So I feel they, they see you as somebody they want to commit to. That's what I'm getting there. And we've got the Eight of Wands, so there could be communication coming in here. We've got awakening. This could be messages coming towards you that helps trigger this awakening or this awareness. And we've got love here. As I said, we have that Two of Cups there. We've got Knight of Swords energy. So for some of you, it could involve an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, somebody, you know, and again, Libra is an air sign. There's a lot of air energy in this reading. So somebody younger than you, somebody that could be wanting to come forward, rushing with their true fear. Okay, why else is love there? Six of Swords. So moving away from the past, you know, moving away from past patterns of behaviours, thoughts, actions, to smoother waters. And I feel it's with another person, okay? I feel this is you moving forwards together to a more peaceful place with you know in your connection and we've got don't forget about the practicalities there so taking care of your finances okay again being open to receive being open to receive abundance and we've got the death card so i feel there's a transformation around this Maybe you've had a difficult relationship with money. Maybe you've been in a lack mentality. And I feel you're transforming that and you're becoming more abundant. You're coming into that abundant energy. What else can you tell us about that? We've got the chariot. So I feel you're going to move forward, okay? You're going to move forward, you know, easier into abundance into financial stability and security things are going to move quickly around this okay so maybe there could be some unexpected money money coming in or something you've been expecting is going to turn out quicker than you thought okay 
And we've got acceptance energy coming into self-acceptance. We've got Knight of Cups energy there. So some of you could be Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is that romantic loving energy. So accept that about yourself. And this has come on the Cancer card. So some of you, maybe you are connecting with a Cancer. Um, or maybe this is you. But, you know, acknowledging that side of yourself, that loving romantic side of yourself. And we've got Ace of Wands. So again, moving forward passionately, you know, having a new beginning with passion. And we've got a collaboration there. So you could be collaborating with some people or with a particular person. We've got King of Wands energy here. So for some of you, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody full of passion. Somebody that does take action, that does move forward. Um, somebody very attractive. They might not be, they don't have to be a fire sign, but they're in that energy. So what else is that talking about? The star. So this is a wish fulfillment here. This collaboration is going to be a wish fulfillment. And we've got higher purpose energy there. So stepping into your purpose. And we've got the world. So you're coming into a new chapter, a new era of your life where you are following your purpose. Maybe you were not doing that before. And you are going to step into that, okay, following your purpose, following your higher purpose and having the courage to do that. Wow. And we've got the sun. So when you do that, it's going to bring you so much joy and happiness. What else can you tell us? What else can you tell us about the courage? We've got three of cups there. So I feel you're going to be have times to celebrate, to collaborate with others, to have really good times doing this with with other people, okay? To follow your purpose, maybe join some sort of group or club and with like-minded people. And we've got the magician. So you can manifest whatever you desire. You have that power. And we've got four of wands energy. So stability coming in, grounded energy coming in here. Wow. And if you're a feminine, you're coming into that empress energy, that divine feminine energy. And you're very connected with that moon. You know, the darker, deeper aspects of self. And we've got six of cups. So there is a reconciliation for some of you. There is somebody from the past returning. I keep getting this lately and we've got justice so justice is coming in here okay i feel it's divine justice coming in so let's get your other messages so look at that we've got the sun again spirit so you are connecting with spirit you're becoming more awakened as we said more spiritually aware and number one you know really focusing on self self-love self-worth self-awareness and coming into the joy the happiness of following your you know inner guidance and we've got mind mercury so you know again you know having that balance between mind and heart okay and not letting the mind control everything um being very you know being open to communications in all ways you know maybe this is about telepathic communication maybe you're going to start awakening to that ability some of you you'll be able to contact people mind to mind without the use of other tools you know like phones or phone, telephones or tvs or computers maybe you're gonna awaken your telepathic abilities and we have soul energy the moon number two so we've got one, two, three here, and I did shuffle these. Wow. So there's a progression here. So you're very connected to your soul. You're going to really be following your soul's path, your soul's mission. Okay, and you're balancing out the sun and the moon, like we said, the masculine, the feminine aspects, the outer aspects with the inner aspects. How beautiful is that? And the fifth health, creativity, and number 11, 
So we've got Master. So maybe you were in some sort of twin flame connection, some of you. Okay, and this triggered your creativity. And this is the colours of the sacral chakra. And maybe it was a very passionate connection and it triggered your creativity. And it's time to get in touch with that again, to really, you know, channel your energies into that creative endeavours. And we've got Aquarius, I know. So having that inner knowing, as I said, connecting to your intuition. And Aquarius, we're coming into the age of Aquarius, the higher mind, the higher technology. Um, and you're going to have that inner knowing. So connect to your own spirit, your own intuition, your higher self. And we've got the grand trine, blessings, number four plus six which is ten an end of a cycle and you're coming into blessings there's blessings coming towards you and this is a theme that's been coming up lately okay there's miracles there's blessings just be open to receive so this is my magical moon deck so let's see what other messages yeah moon magic believe in the magic of the moon yeah do you believe in magic so it's time to get back in touch with that magical aspect and tension needs to release. So find a way to release any tension, any anxiety in your body. And the surprise is on the way. And what is it that you desire? Use that new moon energy to manifest, set your intentions. Use magical moon rituals, you know, candle magic, whatever, to manifest your desires. And we've got emperor energy coming towards you. And we did have the, the empress there. So we we have got a counterpart energy coming towards you. And passion soar. I mean, it's very passionate. And you are protected. Your guys and angels want you to know you're protected right now. And dreams are coming true. You just need to believe in that. And new opportunities coming in on the horizon for you. Be open to receive. And peace is coming into your life. And I choose you, I want you to be mine. So again, it looks like a reconciliation. You know, we've got the two of cups there, we've got the six of cups. You know, we've got the, the divine, the empress, the emperor. And I choose you, I want you to be mine. So some sort of reconciliation. And you need to surrender to the moonlight. Surrender to the magic. Just surrender to the divine. Okay, trust and have faith. Yeah, luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius, which is what this moon is. It's the new moon in Sagittarius. So it's a very lucky time. We do have Jupiter in the sky. Okay, so open up. Yeah, a new start is coming. So new starts come in and communication is key. And we had that Mercury card. So, you know, be open. Open up the lines of communication in your life. And surrender again. So confirming that, just surrender. Okay, and trust in the process. So final messages from the angels, ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual material so you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. So time to get grounded, maybe go out in nature, walk barefoot on the land, hug a tree, um, envision roots going down, connecting you to Mother Gaia, and really connecting to the earth. And Cupid, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. And allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. And we had the love card come out. Oh, so there is definitely love on the horizon for a lot of you. This could be new love or it could be, you know, reconciliation. And release and surrender. We show you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms and hearts to our love and assistance. Wow. And again, surrender. It keeps saying surrender, surrender. So, yes, it's time to surrender and open up to receive the blessings, the magic, the miracles, the abundance that spirit and the universe want you to receive at this time. So beautiful, beautiful energies. Don't forget, if you want to win a free reading, subscribe, share, like and comment the word hope down below. And I will see you next time. Lots of love and blessings.